Hey guys, um, good morning and welcome to our analysis for today. And of course, um, yesterday would have been much better, but I mean, I know a lot of you got on the um, handicap tips, so that, uh, it, it delivered. Uh, and, and congrats to those of you who got on it. It's a difficult time, very difficult period, but we need to try and grind out results. So if you got on these games, if you want, let me know in the comment section. And thankfully, today games are much better than yesterday. The past three days, uh, the games didn't look good, but uh, we kept managing to win a couple of tickets. So let's see how today goes. And today we mostly have European um, games, which is a good thing because with these uh, European qualifiers, it's much easier to predict than when you are dealing with um, teams from these uh, low, uh, from these lower divisions, so it's a good thing. And let's see how we can make the best out of these games. And let me just put it out there that it's the semi-finals of the knockout stages of the qualifiers. So what basically happens is it's going to be very competitive. It's not going to be just any um, European qualifier. Whoever moves on from here goes into the finals. And whoever wins in the finals gets into the um, yeah we'll, we'll get into the Euros that will be starting um, in two two or three months time. So it's very very exciting for these countries. And without wasting time, let's get into it. The very first match that we have here is from it's obviously from the uh, Euro qualifiers. It's a game involving Wales and Finland. And to understand our prediction. We need to look at Wales' form at home. So in Wales' last five matches, they've only lost once, right? They've only lost once. And as, 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 as you can see here, they lost to Armenia, right, which was a shocking defeat. And interestingly, that was almost a year ago, right? Almost a year ago. Now you extend further, right? You extend for that to March 2023. So between March 2023 and March 2024, they've only lost, um, how many times? They've only lost twice, right? They've only lost twice, right? So no, not only March, between October, sorry, between November 2022, right? And June, in this period, October, October, November 2022 and November and March 2024, they've only lost twice at home, right? So the first loss was when they lost to England in the World Cup, and the other one was when they lost to Armenia at home. So two losses at home in nearly two years, in actually two years. Uh, that shows you that we are dealing with a team that is strong. And they have the players. They have very good players. Players that are doing well for Tottenham, that are playing well in their respective clubs. And then you look at Finland. Finland is not that bad. They've lost twice. But what's interesting is that uh, the last couple of times, right, um, these matches, these head-to-head -head matches are not up to date. But the most recent Right. The most recent four meetings between Wales and Finland has seen win where well, seen Wales win or draw. So in their last four meetings, recent meetings, this is not very up to date. What you have is not very up to date. Wales hasn't lost in their four last four meetings between them and Finland. So given the stakes, how high the stakes are for well, this very fixture, uh, you can expect Wales having the home advantage to pull a positive result in 90 minutes. So what are we predicting? What we are predicting is we are giving Wells a, a double chance, right? So we are giving Wells a double chance. So Wells to win or draw in 90 minutes. Wells to win or draw in 90 minutes at odds of 1.20. Another game we have here is a game involving um, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Ukraine. So you look at uh, Bosnia at home. So five matches at home, they've only managed two wins, right? They've only managed two wins and three draws. 
two wins and three draws. And you look at the quality of teams that they beat. Leicester I hope that's how it's pronounced. Leicester 10, I think. And then the Iceland. So these are teams that are not in good form. You expand further. Okay, well, a year ago, that was 2023, they were in much better form. But the last couple of uh, eight to nine months, I've seen them uh, perform very poorly. Then you take a look at Ukraine, away from home. And it's really interesting that Ukraine's last five games away from home, I've seen them lose just once. Right? They've, and, and you look at the quality of teams they've played. They've played North Macedonia, not, not Macedonia, a very strong team. They've played Germany, away from home. They've played, uh, which other team? They've played England, away from home. And they've put up a very strong show. You keep expanding. And it's interesting that in 10 games, away from home, they've only lost three. They've only lost three times. And again, it's more about the quality of teams that they lost to. Scotland is not a joke, the, the team they lost to. England is not a joke. Italy. So they've basically lost to teams that I would say are in the top 20 globally. So against this Bosnia Herzegovina team that has lost to Slovakia at home, lost to Portugal, five goals to zero, lost to Luxembourg, Ukraine should not have a problem winning or drawing this game in 90 minutes. And head to head shows their last meeting. There's, there was a more recent uh, meeting than this. Uh, it ended in Ukraine winning two goals to zero as well. So the prediction is simple. We are going to double chance Ukraine. Uh, they are going through a lot currently uh, in their country. Uh, that has really incentivized the players to play out their hearts and deliver for their nations. And I think this motivation should be even more stronger as they play Bosnia. And they are not a bad team. I mean, I've, played, I've watched Ukraine play a couple of times. Uh, this last year, and they are not bad. They are not a pushover team. So uh, we are double chancing Ukraine at odds of um, 1.27. So Ukraine win or draw at odds of 1.27. The next fixture is a game involving Greece and Kazakhstan. Okay? It's a game involving Greece and Kazakhstan. And when you look at Greece, Greece has been in good form, right? Um, Losing just once at home. You expand to 10 games and they're a pretty decent team. But uh, it's quite interesting that um, in 10 games, which dates back to 2021, right, the matches that they have won, the matches that they have won, it's only been how many teams? One, two, yeah, it's basically only been two matches that they have won by three or more goals, right? In, in more than 10 games that dates back to 2021, it's only two games that they have won by three or more goals. And one of those teams was uh, when they played Cyprus in 2022, beat Cyprus 20, uh, by three goals to zero. Cyprus is not a strong team. Uh, they made them um, Gibraltar. I hope that's how it's pronounced. They beat them five, five goals to zero. These are not strong teams, right? So the point I'm trying to make is that against this Kazakhstan team that doesn't lose, I mean, look at their losses in their last five matches. They haven't lost by more than two goals, two unreplied goals in their last five games. Right? So, okay, they lost to Denmark, but it was just two goals, but they haven't lost by more than two unreplied goals. They haven't lost by more than two unreplied goals. They're a strong team. You look at even their head-to-head -head, and they haven't lost by two more than two unreplied goals. So given that this is going to be an important game for both teams, and Kazakhstan is not a bad team. I mean, look at their away from. They're not that bad. You know, especially their last five matches. The last five matches at home, only two losses at home. And they lost to teams that you would say are in good form, Denmark, but even with these losses, they were even they were still able to score. So what we are going to do is we are giving Kazakhstan a three goals handicap. Data doesn't fail. Right? Um, data doesn't fail. So I mean, their their losses away from home, in which 
I mean, just, just look at 10, 10 games, right? 10 games away from home. And it's only one game in 10 matches that they lost by three unreplied goals. Only one game in 10 matches. And that dates back to 2022. So in two years, right? In two years, while playing away from home, they've only lost by three unreplied goals away from home. So we are going to give Kazakhstan a three goals handicap. We are saying even if they lose to Greece, they're not going to lose by three unreplied goals. And the odd for this is 1.24. The final match is a game involving Israel and Iceland. Uh, when you look at uh, Israel, Israel has only lost uh, how many times? In five matches, they've only lost once. And they didn't lose by more than two goals. The second time, they lost to Cyprus in 2022. They didn't lose by more than two goals. So in 10 games, in 10 games that date back to 2022, they've only lost twice in 10 matches. And the games they even lost, they didn't lose by more than two unreplied goals. You check Iceland away from home, and Iceland has lost a couple of times, three times um, at home. So what we are predicting is very simple. Israel is in good form. Uh, we are giving Israel a two goals handicap. We are saying even if Israel decides to lose to Iceland, they're not going to lose by two unreplied goals. And head-to-head -head shows that Israel has never lost to Iceland by two unreplied goals. They've beaten or drawn. And it's a game that is likely to end in a draw. So the odd for a two goals handicap for Israel is priced at 1.09. Um, and then you have the booking code for, for your benefit here. And I just want to wish you guys nothing but the very best. You can edit, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and see you with our next video.